Good afternoon, Booktube. This is Johnny again. I thought I'd make a video. I made one this morning, Saturday Reads, and I mentioned that I have accumulated used books the last couple of weeks. And I did a video last week, I think, on Cheap Stacks, which is a a used bookstore in Grand Haven uh, District Library. The district library is called LUT. There you see. LUT District Library. It's in Grand Haven, which is north of us, about 25 minutes. It's by Lake Michigan. It's a nice town. Uh, we go to Cheap Stacks, like I said in my videos, but we usually go maybe twice a year. And when we go there to Cheap Stack, which is in the library in the bottom floor, I just look for stuff that I collect. The prices had gone up. Now paperbacks are 50 cents and hardbacks are a dollar. Used to be paperba paperbacks were a quarter and hardbacks were 50 cents, but now paperbacks are 50 cents and hardbacks are a dollar. So prices have gone up, but still it's a steal. <laughs> it's a deal. So when I go to Cheap Stacks, I go down all the aisles. It's it's not really a big store. Uh, maybe two or three thousand books, used books, I'd say roughly. Because I have down here about fourteen thousand down here in the lower level. So it's 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 a small store, but it it has like. I go down the fiction, you know, alphabetical order. I go down and I look for things that I collect. And then I look at, it has a, a section on history. And then, of course, you know, I'm into, the thing I like the most is biographies. And then it has uh, Christian books. It has uh, travel. I don't really notice anything on poetry. I'm sure they have poetry. And they have like science, nature, but not a huge amount, just some things. So what I thought, this is Cheap Stacks Used Books Part 2. And I'm just going to show you the books. I'm not really, and like I said, these are things I collect. So I have usually writer books by these writers that I, and, uh, yeah, most of the stuff I found are, are like things that I collect. As you know, I collect writers. And one of the writers I collect and I found, I had this already, but mine's a paperback and I didn't know it. But if I see a writer that I collect and I'm not sure if I have it in my collection, I'll buy it. And if I have an, a duplicate, I put it in a box to take to Blue Stockings Bookstore in the future for in-store credit or when the book nook opens the our local library used bookstore which is now closed because they're remodeling the library and my wife found out last night that maybe the book nook will not open until august 2024 it used to be april 2024 but now it looks like the book nook will not be open in, until 2000 august 2024 now, as I've mentioned in the past, when we had the COVID epidemic, the library book nook was closed for over a year. And I went back and I volunteered on Mondays from 10 to 1 and on Fridays from 10 to 1. And I did that. I've been volu I had been volunteering at the book nook for almost over, at least over 10 years at different days and different times over those years. And, I got a lot of used books out of there, volunteering, and and every year they had the Friends of the Library used book sale, which I got a lot of books. And, but now most of the books I get are from thrift stores around where I live, or the cheap stacks. And this is why I got cheap stacks. I collect the novels of William Boyd. This is his novel, Sweet Caress. I start reading it the other oh, last week. I read about 35 pages just to get a little taste of it but I collect William Boyd I have a whole stack of his books 
down here, but I collect them. I had this in paperback. I didn't have it in hardback. I showed you uh, an Europia edition just in my last video, I think. I think I did. But this is another Europia edition. Uh, this is called the, the Living Infinite by Chantal Ovida. I can't pronounce the name, but that's the name. I, I should tell you what day it is. <laughs> it is still February the 24th, 2024. It is one thirty-one in the afternoon. I'm down the lower level. This is the lower level library. This is where I, this is really the hermit hut. <laughs> This is where I have most of my library, my book collection. And I collect the Europia. This is, I have a, I, when I catalog this in library thing, I have another Europia book by her. And this is translated, I think. No, it's maybe not. But it says she was born in Miami to Cuban parents. So she is a, a Cuban American anyway. I have another book of hers in my Europia collection, The Living Infinite. I also collect uh, Edna O'Brien. I think she is an Irish writer. Uh, Edna O'Brien is the author of 18 works. I have a whole <laughs> countless, at least 16 of her books, including the Country Girl Trilogy, which I have, House of Splendor, Splendid Isolation, Lantern Slides, uh, she's won the Los Angeles Times Book Prize in Wild December. In 2002, she won the National Medal for Fiction from the National Arts Club. Uh, she was born and raised in Ireland, has lived in London for many years. So this is her novel, The Light of Evening by Edna O'Brien, and I collect her writings. Uh, I haven't really read her in years. But I have her in my collection. Another writer I collect is, let me see if I can get them all. Oh, let me see. Oh. Yeah, I actually got these, I had these organized, I thought. But another writer I collect is Penelope Lively and I I found her books there at the uh, Cheap Stacks Penelope Lively according to Mark I have these in paperback but not in hardback so I'm I might I might keep the paperbacks and the hardbacks this is according to Mark by Pen Penelope Lively and then I found by her this one I don't think I had. The Spider Web, a novel by Penelope Lively, author of Moon Tiger, winner of the Booker Prize. This is Penelope Lively. I don't I have these in paperback but not in hardback. And then I found the pack of cards, stories by Penelope Lively, author of Moon Tiger. She's really kind of famous for her novel. Moon Tiger, which I think I read a number of years ago, but I can co collect Penelope Lively, so I found three of her novels. These I have in paperback, but not in hardback. Another writer I collect, and he writes nonfiction and fiction, and he's one of my favorite British man of letters. She, he, I think he's written a biography on William Blake. He's done a, a biography on the city of London. He writes novels. He writes literary studies. He does everything. And this is a novel I didn't have by him. This is by Peter Ackroyd. The English Music by Peter Ackroyd. If I see anything by him, I pick it up. I mean, he's really an interesting writer. Uh, says, uh, English, English music is a purity force of imagination and evocation. Startling, masterful novel from one of the most exciting writers of work today. Let's see the English 
music. This is published in 1992, but I collect him. I have a whole stack of his stuff, and I was really pleased to find this. I like anything written by him. I have this in paperback. One of my favorite poets is Anne Sexton, and this is a biography by Diane Wood Middlebrook. I have this in paperback. Uh, she's one of my favorite poets, is Anne Sexton. So I have this in paperback, but not in hardback. This was a, a fine. Uh, he is a, an, a, a uh, he is a French writer, a very modernist, Life, a User's Manual by Jorez Percy. This is really a find. It's kind of, it's a, it's a library reject, reject, withdraw. It's not a reject, it's a withdraw. See, it's like, like that. But I have another book by him, another novel in the back there somewhere and this is he's kind of famous for this novel I think that's what we call a novel life is an unclassifiable masterpiece a sprawling compendium encyclopedic as Dante's co co comedy Saucer's Canterbury Tales in its break with tradition as inspiring as Joyce's Ulysses structured around a single moment in time towards 8 p.m. on June 23, 1973. Percy's spellbinding puzzle begins in a parent block with, and this goes on and on. Anyway, just check it out. This is translated of uh, French by David Bellos, the user's manual. Very famous book. Found this used for a dollar. Can't go wrong. Another writer I collect, he's an Australian writer, and I didn't have this in my Peter Carey collection, Amnesia. I didn't have this one in my, they're over there, his writings. Uh, I, I've read his novels and I've always enjoyed them. But this came out in 2015. He's written a lot of. I think he's kind of famous for um, True History of the Kelly Gang, uh, Oscar and Lucinda, Bliss, which I've read, really enjoyed. Fat Man in History, Amnesia by Peter Carey. I collect him. Really pleased to find this. I also found Harry Cruz Celebration. I collect Harry Cruz. I just finished reading Harry Cruz's novel, The Gospel Singer. I told you in a recent video that Penguin is republishing the writings of Harry Cruz, who's a Southern writer, Southern Gothic. Uh, this is his, I just finished reading this. And he's famous for his novel, The Childhood, a biography of a place by Harry Cruz. And I told you that in the fall, Penguin's going to publish The Bodybuilder by Harry Cruz. But I found at Cheap Stacks, Celebration by Harry Cruz. Another writer I collect, I didn't have this in my Joy Williams collection. Visiting Privilege, New and Collected Stories by Joy Williams. I collect her. I've read her over the years. I, this came out in 2015. Yeah, I've read her over the years. Uh, State of Grace, a novel by her. Breaking and Entering, The Quick and the Dead. Uh, the Chan the Changeling. Uh, I don't have her nonfiction, and I think I have other collection of stories by her. Uh, Joy Williams, I collect. 
This is a biography, you know, I collect biographies, and this is a biography on John Ruskin, The Passionate Moralist by Joan Abis. Yeah, I found this at Cheap Stacks. Uh, John Ruskin. I have his writings over here. Paint. I bought this last year or year before John Ruskin unto last and other writings by John Ruskin. He was, he, I think he was an art critic. I'm not sure exactly all that he did, but this is about, he's like 19th century. If I remember correctly, what years was John Ruskin? He was born in London in 1819 uh, of Scottish descent. Uh, looks like he died in 1900. So this is a biography on him, John Ruskin, The Passionate Moralist, by Joan Obis. So, got that. I found a biography on Young, A Life of Young, by Ronald Heyman. I have many, not many, I have several biographies written by Ronald Heyman. He's kind of influenced by Freudian psychology, so I'm kind of reluctant, but he wrote a biography on Nietzsche, Sartre, Proust, Sylvia Path, and Thomas Mann. I don't know how... I think I have his on Thomas Mann. I don't know about the other ones, about Nietzsche. Or, I think I have on Sartre by him. I didn't know he wrote one on Sylvia Path. I have to look at that. But anyway... I didn't have this. I collect. I have a. I have a, a collection of Young's writings and his biographies. I didn't have this in a biography, and so I picked that up at Cheap Stacks for a dollar. Can't go wrong. I collect the writings of Robert Allen But Butler. This is had a good time. Stories from the American Postcards. I collect books on the civil rights, the 60s, ideal whose time has come, two presidents, two parties, and the battle for the Civil Rights Act of 1964 by Todd S. Purdem. Yeah, I, I collect books on the 60s, the civil rights, psychedelic movement, uh, books on, you know, music of the 60s and things like that. I collect the writings of William Trevor, who's an, who I think was born in Ireland's County Cork, 1928. Uh, he's an author of 18 books. I have a, a huge stack of his writings. I had this in paperback, but not in hardback. Two lives, two novels by William Trevor, reading Turgenev and My House in... Ubrina. I had this in paperback, but not in hardback. I started reading this, and just to get a flavor of it, I was reading my, uh, but then I decided I was reading, I was getting too much, I was overreaching my brain. I collect the writings of John Bainfield, the winner of the Booker Prize. This is a novel by called Mrs. Osborne, 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 a novel. But I collect him. I have a whole shelf of his writings. He's a, a British writer, I think. John Bainfield, the author of 17 novels, has been recipient of the Man Booker Prize, the James Tate Black Memorial Prize, the Guardian Fiction Award, Franz Kaffa Prize, a Layman Literary Award for Fiction, Prince of Austria, Asturias Award for Literature. He lives in Dublin. Yeah, I, I've read John Bainfield over the years, and I've really enjoyed his writing. So if I see something by him, I get it from my library. I didn't have this one in my collection. 
I collect the, this he's more of a Catholic intellectual, Gary Wills. I have a whole shelf of his writings. I didn't have this one in my collection, Bomb Power, The Modern Presidency and the National Security State. This is nonfiction. He's written all kinds of books and I always find them interesting. Like he wrote a book called Lincoln and Lincoln at Gettysburg, uh, George Washington and the Enlightenment, what Jesus meant. He also wrote a book on St. Augustine, Why I'm a Catholic. He wrote a book on the Kennedys. He's written all kinds of books and I kind of collect them because he seems, I like intellectuals. He's a Catholic intellectual, but this is what I never seen, Man, Bomb Power, The Modern Presidency, and The National Security State by Gary Willis. This I had already in a hardback. This, he's a, a Czech writer. He just recently died. This is Immortality, a novel by Milan Kondrea, who's famous for his novel, um, what was it called? Uh, the Unbearable Lightness of Being, which was made into a movie a number of years ago. But I collect his writings. I already had this in hardback, so now I had two. I put it in my box to take to the Blue Stockings bookshop, bookstore. So those are the books that I got at Cheap Stack. I still have a stack over there that use books from local thrift stores, which I'll show in a future video. So yeah, I got all those books for $10. Can't go wrong for $10. You know, you can't go wrong. I mean, $10. I, maybe maybe it was twelve because I bought some books from my wife too. It might have been twelve dollars. Yeah, one two. Maybe yeah. Uh, one two three four five. One one two four. Five six seven eight nine ten eleven. Yeah, maybe it was around fifteen dollars. But you no, know, you can't go wrong for fifteen dollars. So yeah, I'm down the lower level. This is where the hermit hangs out. And I've st still been reading off and on the, Am the Amateur's Eden, the story of the Bohemian marriage, Nancy and Lawrence Durrell by her daughter, Joanna. I'm still reading this. This is the other uh, Atelda Bartis novel I want to get into. I'm reading his novel, The End. This is his novel, Tranquility, translated, translated from the Hungarian by Almer Goldstein. And I haven't got into this yet, Ken, by, I can't pronounce his name, but this is probably next year, <laughs> this year sometime I want to get into this. So I'm surrounded by books. I did start reading Celebration by Harry Cruz. I got, oh, I think I read 50 pages. It's kind of crazy, but anyway. Surrounded by books, which I love. So I hope you're having a good weekend. This is a s Saturday, isn't it? Saturday, the 24th, February 24th. 149 in the afternoon going on 25 minutes down here so yeah these are the treat stack used book haul number two so if you got any question about these novels or these writers just feel free to ask me like I said these are things I collect I really want to get all Harry Cruz I'm glad that Penguin has republished, reprinted three of his novels. And I was pretty pleased to find Harry Cruz's celebrations. And uh, I'll sign off. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for just being out there. Hoping you're having a good reading week. If you also... If you want to see a video of the lower level, I haven't done it in a while. I usually do it every once in a while. I, I walk around my library and film it. If you want to see that, 
below put yes if that's true today is sunny so i opened up all the sh the sh the blinds and the sunlights in here if it's dark outside it's not really good to film but i thought the next time that it's sunny i could open the blinds and get more light down the lower level which is very dark there's not really good lighting down here that's why i film upstairs in the dining room because there's light down here it's very dark because I, I need we need to put new lighting in the ceiling which will cost a fortune but that's in the future so anyway thank you for the new subscribers thank you for watching do pray you're having a good weekend hope you have a good new reading week i'll show those other used books maybe next week sometime and i'll close until next time bye